Peace and blessings, beloved. Welcome back to the vibrant life. It is me, not Kwale. Um, back again with another video, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about four reasons why people fail to manifest in their lives. Okay, so, but before we get started, hello, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is me. I am bringing you guys positive, valuable content every Monday and Saturday on this here channel. If you are new, welcome to this channel. I hope you enjoyed the vibes. Subscribe if you feel the vibes. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for rocking with me thus far. I appreciate your support, your love, your comments, your messages. I get them all and I really appreciate you guys. Okay? So keep rocking with me. We're growing. Okay? It's up from here. We're in the year of eight and it is up from here. Peace. So let's get into um, let's get into the meat of everything. Okay, I want to go over four reasons why people fail to successfully manifest their desires. Okay, so I have clients. They come up to me. They say, "Hey, name. I've been trying to manifest." this house i've been doing it i've been doing everything you told me to do why isn't it happening for me and nine times out of ten when i get a chance to really speak to them this the reasons why they're not manifesting come out almost immediately okay so let's really get into it the first one being pessimistic Guys, optimism is positive energy. So just automatically assume optimism is positivity. Negative energy is pessimistic, right? People don't understand that us as a ball of energy, we're constantly creating and manifesting whether we believe it or not your thoughts carry that much power right so your thoughts carry a vibration those vibrations are able to attract certain outcomes and experiences to your life it is the universal power it is how things work so just know when you are being pessimistic you are being negative. Your thoughts are pessimistic. Now, it's not anything, I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with being pessimistic at times. There's nothing wrong with seeing your reality at that moment for what it is. But know that your thoughts can create and alter your reality in moments. It takes a moment sometimes. So know that if you are in the energy of pessimism and you are having a hard time manifesting something positive, it's because your thoughts are creating negative experiences for you. So it is best to make sure that you are in a space where you are open to creating positive thoughts if your environment is not conductive or conducive better yet for you to be able to be in that element to have positive emotions you may not want to try to attract anything at that moment okay because you are going to want to clear your energy and make sure that you are in a space where you can think positive thoughts 
Okay. Second thing. Many people who are manifesting, right? And it doesn't mean that it can't happen, but many people are not being realistic about their manifestations and their goals associated with manifesting whatever it is, okay? You got to understand that if you are new to manifesting, you probably need to start off small to build the confidence in yourself to know that it is possible, it is doable, but if you jump into these manifestations with something as large as a house, not saying that it won't happen for you, it can definitely happen for you. But for some people, people need motivation. Some people need encouragement. And it's not really encouraging if you've never manifested anything that big before and you're trying to manifest something that big, right? So typically, you want to go in with realistic expectations of what you know you physically can manifest, right? If you know that you've just gotten out of a bad heartbreak, you know that you are not in the best space mentally to, you know, really attract large and great things. I wouldn't try to manifest a new relationship at that point. I would make sure that I do the proper healing, right, and work that I need to do to make sure that my mental space and my emotions has the capacity to bring forth the energy to push that manifestation through, okay? So sometimes that looks like having superficial no. desires for people who try to do those things. You know, it's like you have to fill it within the core of your being if you want to manifest. And if you're just manifesting for temporary temporary gratification and things of that nature, you're going to have a challenging time manifesting, okay? So that is, yeah, another reason why people have a hard time manifesting, okay? Number three, another reason why, is not really knowing what you want, okay? And I have to be honest, when I first started working with the Law of Attraction, this theory, I had a hard time. I didn't know exactly what I want. I didn't make myself clear to the divine powers what it was that I really wanted. And so what ended up happening was I ended up getting everything that I deserved in that moment and that I needed, right? So you want to make sure that if you are manifesting, you know exactly what it is that you want down to the T. Um, for example, and this is how my elder taught me, okay, if you go to a restaurant and you say, hey, and the waitress asks you, what can I get you? You say, I want the best breakfast ever. <laughs> I want the best breakfast ever, right? But now your friend comes in, the waiter comes up to her, and she says, I want French toast, fluffy, extra syrup, extra ham, extra eggs on the side with a big glass of orange juice. Now your plate gets there and all you have is oatmeal. And your friend is eating this lavish breakfast. Whose fault is it? Is it the waitress's fault or is it your fault? So you have to know what you want. You have to ask for what you want. That is how it's going to work for you, beloved. If you do not know what you want and you ask the universe or whatever divine power you believe in, don't be disappointed when you get whatever it is that you may need. It's all great and it's all an opportunity for 
another chance, but that happens a lot. And that used to happen to me a lot. I just didn't know. I was, I, I didn't feel like I was worthy of asking for everything I had, you know, or everything that I wanted. And it was totally doable. Okay. And the last one is not being able to visualize your desire. This is tricky too, because a lot of the times when the desire is so big and it's so out of our reach or it seems so out of our reach, we don't know how to visualize it. And this is where real law of attraction techniques come into play because what are you visualizing? If you have no way to visualize it, you have to create a visual for it, right? Are you creating mood boards, vision boards? You know, are you dreaming it? Are you drawing it? What are you doing to make the photo clear of what it is that you want? Once you found your clarity, oh, it's easy from there. You can visualize it all day. But yeah, that could be tricky too. If you your goal is so big and you just don't know how to visualize it, you need that visualization to be able to associate that emotion with it, right? So that is pretty much one of the reasons why people have a hard time manifesting because they cannot really put the vision together themselves, right? So sometimes you have to maybe look at what other people are doing. And, you know, there's a lot of controversy around that. Like, you can't want what other people have, but people follow people. It is the way of the land. And there's no shame in saying, I love how this person lives. You know, I love how they do this. Like, there's no shame in that, you know? So get some inspiration, you know, for what it is that you want and go from there. But that's pretty much it. Those are my four tips for why you're probably not manifesting as fast as you would like to. Okay, so hopefully this helps you. Um, if it did, please leave me a big thumbs up and share this video with your favorite manifesting buddies. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. But also, if you want to learn how to attract your dream life, purchase my journal. You guys, this journal is an amazing journal. It is now here on Amazon for your purchase. And what I love about it is the affirmations and the challenges that are in this book. If you want to challenge yourself to go after everything it is that you want, use this book. It will help you maintain your goals. It will help you come up with strategies. It will help you with challenges to make sure that you are in the correct mental space to attract your strongest desires. Also, if you would like to book a consultation with me to learn a little bit more about how to holistically create the life of your dreams, please book a consultation with me. I would love to speak with you more about it. But until the next time, I will see you guys. Peace. Shadow, that's all. I need to go, I shadow, that's all. I need to go, I shadow, that's all.